Okay, how's it going everyone? So I figured I'd do a quick little build video on how exactly to get your tiny trainer with the plug and play AIO and our plug and play motors just set up. So I started by just getting the AIO mounted. So to do that, you start with your TPU battery tray, you put the two stack screws in, and then you put your other two in, but the they don't go through the TPU tray. And then I also mounted my four motors. They can go wherever. We're gonna reverse our motors in BL Heli later on. And uh, with this AIO, it tends to always be one and four that needs to be reversed, but we're gonna start by just plugging everything in. So your motors just go in as so. And then once the canopy's on, you're gonna want these like kinda out of the way like this, because if they're just shooting straight up out of the plug, then the canopy is kinda like kind of smash them down so you just kind of do a little bend like this and then they're gonna be well out of the way and then the plugs that came with the kits were pinned wrong they were kind of reversed because we asked them to switch these ports to be uh, facing up instead of facing out because the original board had plugs that faced towards the standoff it was pretty useless because then you couldn't plug anything into it. So we switched to upwards facing receptacles except they didn't um, change the pin out of these because now I think they assumed they were going to go in this way the same as they went in before but they actually go in the opposite way. So all of the wires are in the opposite order so I'll show you the proper order right here. Um, that's for the three plugs when I guess in reality you only really need your VTX plug and your receiver plug. This one's only if you're running like HD. So this is the wider plug, the one that's going to have about six wires. Yeah, so this is the one that's actually more of a pain to do, but these two are pretty quick. And you're just going to repin these or you can follow the wiring diagram which is provided on the product description and I'll show it right here. And that's how you double check your work to make sure that it's set up right. Now, I actually have this uh, kind of built up with the receiver on the bottom, the QT antenna zip tied, and I'm running Ghost, so I only need one wire, and that's going to be to the TX pad, so it actually goes to the last port on the right side of this plug. If you were running like Crossfire, you need both. If you were running, say, something like an SBUS FR Sky receiver, you'd have it plugged to the uh, third uh, hole, and then that would be going to your RX pad, but since uh, Ghost is kind of like a bi-directional communication type of line. You use the TX pad, and then that's why I have that one wire going. And then I have my VTX on top, and I actually just modeled these. The, they're like the same little seat belt clamshell type mounts for the XE2s. I also have one up for the Triumph Pro, and that just helps keep your antenna tidy and kind of protected. And I use that instead of putting it uh, zip tied or just kind of flying out there. And then, yeah, you're just going to wire up your VTX to 5 volt ground smart audio and video. And if you have this repinned properly, you'll just put it on the quad and then you're going to plug it back in. So I'm just going to get this in here. I like to take my power leads and put them off to the side because when they shoot straight out the back, it's kind of hard to hook it up to the battery so I put them off to the side like this and then I push this little guy down that's on there all you're gonna have to do is plug in your receiver to that front left port up there and then you're gonna plug in your VTX to this little dongle that comes off so we had beta FPV pre solder everything so that that's a step that happens before they quality check everything because what was happening is we had a lot of people with tiny soldering and then they'd never really check to make sure the AIO was functional before they started soldering everything to it and they'd get to the end of the build and something wasn't working and by that point we don't know whose fault it is so now there's no soldering that has to happen here as you see everything on the AIO was just plugged in I routed my camera plug under the AIO just to make it a little bit cleaner and then I'm going to be running this awesome camera mount. He uh, made it so it lifts the camera up a little bit and then it also kind of gives you that 5 inch feel, I, I guess relative to how your camera lines up to the propeller tips. So you're a little bit higher than like a typical tiny trainer, but yep, you're just going to plug that in and then you kind of just put it on the front. And then we're going to screw those standoffs in. So 
So just make sure that you wire everything up properly. You either follow the wiring diagram or you repin those three plugs as I've shown. And if you're watching this in the future and this isn't like a new video, then we're already going to have these fixed in batch two where the plugs are all uh, pinned properly and then you won't have to worry about it. But for this first batch, you're going to have to make sure. So there's our build. So after this, all you really have to do is beta flight. Like, and I guess typically a lot of people, they won't ever put their canopy on until the end. But since we have this bottom facing USB port, you can, yeah, you can close it all up right now and everything would be set and you could just set it all up in beta flight. But we're gonna plug this in, just make sure there's no magic smoke. Moment of truth. Beautiful. And let's go over to beta flight. Okay, so here we are in beta flight, and if you're gonna be like, I guess, me and Evan, you're gonna be running the latest and greatest. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to flash 4.3, beta flight 4.3, and this is a development build. So you're gonna plug in your flight controller, you're gonna go to update, and then you're gonna have to enable expert mode. You're gonna go to development, and then your board, this board, since we're all building the same quad right now, is the beta FPV F405. And you're just going to take the latest build because our diff is going to be set up for the latest build and then you're just going to click load firmware and then you're going to flash it. I already went ahead and did that so then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to connect to this quad and then there's a diff that I've got ready for this and all you're going to do is download that diff. I'm going to have it as a text file. You're going to copy all of it. You're going to go down to CLI. You're going to paste it. Control V, enter, and then you're going to type save. And then now your quad should be all set up. The only thing that you might have to double check is that your arm switch is in the proper place. So whatever aux channel you use or whatever um, position that switch is in, you're gonna have to make sure that you want it uh, or you have it set in the right place. And then the other thing you're gonna have to check is that your serial receiver is set up correctly. Since I'm running Ghost, I have it selected as Ghost. But the port should already be set, so we're all using the same port. We're going to be using RX3 as the serial RX, and we have Smart Audio on UART6. If you're running like a Tramp or some other VTX, some other Nano VTX, you're going to change that to whatever is uh, correct. And then you're also going to have to set up your VTX tables. If you don't know how to do that, I guarantee you Joshua Bardo has a video, but you're going to get the file off of GitHub. You're going to load it and then you're just going to make sure it's the right one for your VTX and then you're going to be kind of ready to go. The only other thing we got to do is make sure that our motors are spinning the right direction. I'm going to guarantee they're not because I haven't done that yet and all the motors are exactly the same. So I'm going to grab a battery real quick. So with the quad plugged into beta flight, we're going to go ahead and plug in that battery and then you're going to understand that you're about to cut your face off if you have props on and then you're going to spin up these motors yeah it looks like they're all spinning clockwise so that means since i'm running props out that means that one and four are incorrect because they should be spinning away from the inside so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that we're going to disconnect we're going to open a bl heli so we're just going to go ahead and set up. I'm just now realizing I have this uh, camera improperly placed so I'm going to go ahead and screw this over so all I did was click read setup and then you're going to right click on one motor one you're going to go to reverse right setup okay and then you're going to go to motor four reverse right setup okay and then we're going to disconnect because that's all we needed We can go back into beta flight, go to our motors, and then turn that on, spin it up, and then make sure, yep, all correct. And then the last thing that I like to do, which isn't absolutely necessary, is change my font and upload my 533 logo. So I like to do clarity, select my custom image. I'll put this image in the same folder as the text files. We'll have a diff for the uh, 4.3 build, but we'll also have one for 4.2 for people that don't, like just don't want to run a development build because there are risks involved. 
just realize that if you're running a development build, there's bugs, and that's uh, at your own risk. So then, now that that's set up, we're gonna be able to just, I guess we wanna make sure that our control link is working. These are just the standard steps to making sure your quad works. So if you already know these steps, you can just stop watching this video because your quad's ready to fly. You just gotta throw some props on there. So we go to receiver, and yeah, everything's mapped properly. Arm is going in the right location. And we are good to go. So I'm gonna throw some props on this and we're gonna test hover it. Okay, this is not me recommending that you test your quad in your house, but the first thing I do, I don't give any throttle, I just kinda go back and forth because the low throttle and then if it, something was set up wrong, it would freak out, but it would be tame relative to you trying to take it off. She's good to go. We're gonna go practice with this and then we're gonna be putting these motor plugs to the test. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that helps anybody building one of these AIOs and uh, we're gonna have some RTFs pretty soon. It's gonna be built exactly like this. Same camera, um, different VTX. We're gonna go with the Foxier Nano Reaper just because it has some big pads, makes it easy to build. But thanks for watching. Happy flying.